Hello everyone. A uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, welcome to the Officer Ada 24-7, the special session of your BRPL subject in the English medium language. So today is the 4th of January. As you know that your new English medium batch is going to be start from 10th of January. The name of the batch is Resolution Batch because we have taken the resolution that we, we will help you to just crack your CAB exam June 2024. So if you are new in this session, do not forget to, first of all, subscribe the channel of Officer Adda 24-7, okay? Once you subscribe the channel, then the notification will be automatically available to all of you. So that's why this is very important to just subscribe the channel of Officer Adda so that the recent and the new notification will be automatically come, okay? So right now, guys, we are doing the important questions okay of module a so let's start with the session okay now this is your resolution batch module a number one question bank guarantee a promise made by the dash to any dash to undertake the payment risk on the behalf of what bank guarantee so this thing we have just we can understand bank guarantee okay this is your bank guarantee principal debtor creditor and this is guarantor so sometime bank also act as a bank guarantor right i think that is a picture is not clear visible to you so i, I will just try <coughs> write a diagram here this principal debtor creditor surety so according to the contract of guarantee principal debtor demand money from creditor creditor will give money if principal debtor is not able to pay the money the surety will give this is the concept of contract of guarantee so in the bank guarantee this is your bank guarantee this is your bank guarantee so a bank guarantee a promise made by the dash who will make promise who will make the promise okay the promise will but obvious made by the bank bank to any what to any customer or third person to any customer or third person that is any third person to undertake the payment of risk on the behalf of the customer so here the bank principal debtor is the customer okay that is a third person That is the third person. Those, this is the exact right answer. So, bank guarantee. A promise made by the bank, okay, to any third person on the behalf of customer. So, B will be the right answer. This is called the bank guarantee. I hope so. That is clear to all of you. So, the bank guarantee, the concept has been taken from the contract of guarantee that is a part of the special principle of contract. So, first B is the right answer. Done? Now, let's move toward the next one. Second one. Okay. Which of the following is a disadvantage of bank guarantee? Disadvantage. It's a rigid assessment. Difficulty of loss making entitled to the opt-in guarantee. High value and high risk transaction or all of you. What is the right answer for the second one? Disadvantage of bank guarantee. What is the disadvantage? <clears throat> so January is going on. February, March. In April, the registration date will be start. Okay. So, which of the following is the disadvantage of the bank guarantee? The disadvantage of the bank guarantee is there is a rigid assessment. Difficulty for loss making entitles to the opt-in guarantee. High will and the high risk transaction are all of the above. For the second one, guys, D is the right answer. 
all the points cover under bank entity all the points okay this is the right answer next xyz company is a newly established textile factory that's want to purchase 1 crore fabric raw material the bank guarantee on the behalf of xyz company raw material vendor either of them or bank guarantee cannot be given so this is your company xyz establish the textile factory right wants to purchase 1 crore of fabric raw material so for this one the bank guarantee on the behalf of so who is the customer on whose behalf the bank will give guarantee that is good question what is the right answer for this question c class there are three types of bank guarantee if i say you first financial guarantee second financial performance guarantee <clears throat> and the third one is financial performance and the last one is your deferred payment guarantee so company that is a textile factory want to purchase one crore of fabric the bank will guarantee on the behalf of what because see the company have to give money the company have to give money so that's why the guarantee will be on the behalf of the company so xyz company the bank will give guarantee on that on that way so this is the right answer okay this is the right answer for this question next one <clears throat> a enters into the contract with b for completion of certain project okay a does not complete the project on time and does not compensate b for the loss this can be compensated by dash guarantee tell me a enters into a contract with b for completion of certain project a does not complete the project on time and does not compensate b for loss this can be compensated by the guarantee what guarantee financial performance warranty advance payment <coughs> Tell me, class. <clears throat> completion of certain project. What is this? Completion of certain project. And your answer should be in this line. Your answer is in this line. Completion of certain project. So, which type of guarantee is there? Financial performance warranty or advance payment? What is the right answer? what is the right answer for this question A does not complete the project on time and does not compensate B for loss. If a bank is giving guarantee on the certain project, that is called as the performance guarantee. So for the fourth one, the right answer is B. Performance guarantee is the right answer. Fourth B is the right answer. Is that okay? B will be the right answer for this question. Next. Journaly. Fee for dash bank guarantee will be higher than the fee charge for dash bank guarantee. It's a bid bond financial advance payment performance performance bid bond financial performance. What is the right answer?
First of all, you know the types of guarantee and bid bond also provide a guarantee that winning bidder will take up the contract as per the term at which they bid. That is called bid bond. Okay, guarantee that a winning bidder will take up a contract as per the terms at which they bid. That's it. So what is the right answer for the fifth part? Fifth one, the right answer is D. The financial bank guarantee will be higher than the fees charged for the performance. This is the right answer. Okay, this is the right answer. Next, Dash is assurance given by a bank to the beneficiary to make a specified payment. Bank guarantee, letter of credit, surety, or insurance. Sixth, what is the right answer? <clears throat> For the sixth one, what will be the right answer? Sixth. It is an assurance given by a bank to the beneficiary to make the <coughs> specified payment. Bank guarantee. This is the right answer. Okay, sixth A is the right answer. Dash. For dash guarantee, such as in international export situation, there may be fourth party, a corresponding bank, that's operate in the country of domicile of the beneficiary. Export, bid bond, foreign bank, financial. That is a good question. Seventh one. For dash guarantee, such as in international export situation, there may be a fourth party that is a correspondent bank that operate in the country of the side of the beneficiary. So what is the right answer for this one? Seventh one. So those candidates who are new in this session, do not forget to like the session and subscribe the channel so that the notification will be automatically come in your mobile. Okay. So for the seventh one, the right answer will be foreign bank. Okay. Foreign bank guarantee such as in the international export situation. There may be fourth party a correspondent bank that operate in the country of domicile of the beneficiary. Okay. Next. A dash is a contract to perform the promise discharge the liability of a third Person in the case of default, this is contract of guarantee, bank guarantee, letter of credit, or payment. What is the right answer for eighth one? That is good question. Yes, class, eighth one. What is the right answer? A dash is a contract to perform the promise, discharge the liability of a third person in the case of default. A contract of guarantee, bank guarantee, letter of credit or payment. That is basically contract of guarantee that is given in section 126 of the Indian Contract Act. 126 of the Indian Contract Act, let's talk about this one. So for the eighth one, this is the right answer because in the contract of guarantee, this is principal debtor, creditor, surety. If principal debtor is not able to pay the money, the surety will pay the money. That is the concept of contract of guarantee. So for the eighth one, A is the right answer. Next, dash, the type of guarantee 
is required when the customer on credit purchases goods machinery and the payment is to be made in installment on specified date. It is financial guarantee, performance-based guarantee, deferred payment guarantee or advanced payment guarantee. What is the right answer for the ninth one? If the one word is there now, you can easily understand this. Yes, class. Tell me, when we suppose purchase the good and machinery and we are not able to give in a one way, right? We are not able to give in a one way rupees. So we will give the installment. So on the basis of installment, if the bank is taking guarantee, this is called as a deferred payment guarantee. So the right answer will be ninth one. C is the right answer. Okay, next. The dash is usually a few months more than dash of the guarantee. Tell me. What is the right answer for the tenth one? The dash is usually a few months more than the dash of guarantee. Due date, claim period, claim period, validity period, guarantee period, validity period, validity and contract period. What is the right answer? <clears throat> dash is usually a few months more than dash guarantee. The right answer is. This is the right answer. Tenth, this is the right answer for this question. Okay, next. The prior to the enactment of Section 28 of Indian contract, most bank guarantee had standard clause at the end of guarantee agreement. As per this clause, the beneficiary was required to enforce his claim within the period of dash month. 2 to 6, 3 to 6, 6 to 12, 3 to 12 month. That is good question. That is good question. For the eleventh one, the right answer is B. This is the right answer. Okay. Hello everyone, a very good evening, a very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the Officer Adda channel of Adda 24-7. So as you know that we are doing the questions of Module A. So Module A is a very important act. Uh, basically 10 to 15 questions always come from the Module A. And I think today is the last day of your Module A because after that from uh, Monday onwards, we are going to start module uh, this one B. Okay, so that's why this is very important that you people have to, you know, go through all the questions that we have done because questions are really very much important. And basically, from module A now, 10 to 12 questions always come in the exam. So that's why this is very, very much important. Now, let's start with this one. First of all, before starting this session, this is your resolution batch. This batch is going to be start from 10th of January. Okay. This is a complete foundation or you can say the comprehension batch in which we will teach you each subject very briefly. Okay. So this is very, very much important. ABM, ABFM, BRBL and BFM. This is the four particular subject that we will teach you in this session. There is a no elective subject in this session. 
no elective subject for the elective subject you have to just pick one particular uh, video courses of the elective subject okay now let's start with the session module a number one question the officer working for public sector bank and their subsidiaries are known as gadget officer government employees public authority or bank officer which of the following is the right answer tell me class <coughs> which of the following is the right answer tell me the officer working in the public sector bank and their subsidiaries that is called what that is important one batai class jo bhi officer not all the employees guys officer maine bola the officer that's working in the public sector bank and their subsidiaries is known as what that is known as gadget officer because we are talking about the officer that it working not a normal person or employee so for this question the right answer is a is the right answer okay next after nationalization of the imperial bank of india imperial bank right now it is called sbi bank dash percentage of stake was taken by reserve bank of india and the new bank was named state bank of india so you have to tell me whether it is 50% 51% 60% and 95% which of the following is the right answer tell me class how much percentage is taken by reserve bank of india and the new bank tell me tell me nationalization of imperial bank of india this is known as state bank of india dash percentage of stake or ownership was taken by reserve bank of india and the new bank was named the state bank of india how much percentage they have taken that is important one this is important one whether it is 50% 51% 60% or 95% that is good question हाँ जी क्लास सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन द राइट आंसर विल बी दैट इज फिफ्टी वन परसेंट दिस इज द राइट आंसर ओके दिस इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट ओके नेक्स्ट द कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ एस बी आई एसोसिएट बैंक स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट बाय एस बी आई बैंक मर्जिंग इट सब्सिडरी डैश ऑन थर्टीन अगस्त टू the subsidiary bank of sbi that is a five and the sixth one is uh, that is a bharti mahila bank these banks were merged okay and right now there is a no subsidiary bank so which bank merged in 13 august 2008 tell me class what is the right answer for this question third state of state bank of indore mysore jaipur and sohar and it's a saurashtra the right answer for this question is class that is state bank of saurashtra d is the right answer next the idbi bank was categorized as a private bank with the effect of 
जनवरी 2019, जुलाई 2018, अप्रैल 2017 एंड अगस्त 2020. विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द राइट आंसर यस क्लास यू नो इन दिस फ्रॉम दिस सेशन योर क्वेश्चन दैट इज विदाउट ऑप्शन विदाउट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो कम इन योर एग्जाम सो दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी कम इन द विदाउट ऑप्शन दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विदाउट ऑप्शन यस क्लास वॉट इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन The IDBI Bank was categorized as a private with effect from the January 2019. This is the right answer for this question. Okay, next. The government shareholding dash on the State Bank of India from 13th June 2021. That is the latest. You know, uh, right now your banking awareness questions also come in the exam. So this is just like a banking awareness. Whether it is sixty four percent, sixty nine point thirty three percent, forty nine percent, and fifty nine percent, fifty five percent, which of the following is the right answer? How much percentage? The government shareholding. The batch class, which is going to be start from the tenth of January. That is your resolution batch. this batch is very very much important in which we will give you the live classes then after live classes recorded session will be available recorded session okay the mock paper is there mock paper after that you have a doubt sessions class any time and you have a ebooks so these are the things that we are giving in the resolution batch and once you start from the 10th of january the batch will be finished at least april so that's why you people will have a sufficient time to revise the syllabus that we will be doing so for the fifth question the right answer is 55% d is the right answer for this question okay d <coughs> now there are dash type of cooperative bank in india how many types of cooperative bank in india class tell me how many types of cooperative bank in india so guys there are three types of cooperative bank in india okay next the organizational structure followed by cooperative bank in india is centralized structure decentralized federal structure or unitary federal that is a distribution of the power unitary one no tell me class centralized structure decentralized federal and unitary structure seventh one the right answer will be c is the right answer eighth reserve bank may issue directions to the banking company under section 21 of the banking regulation act so you have to tell me what is section 21 of the banking regulation act yes class what is section 21 audit loan and advance capital structure none of the above what is the right answer
guest asked for the eighth one what is the right answer you know class from the banking regulation act now few sections are very very much important that you have to note down section 5b section 21 section 22 section 26 section 35 these are the important things banking definition loan and advance license unclaimed deposit power of the rbi under this act so for this question the right answer is loan and advance so these types of question will become in the form of section based questions okay now which of the following is class true reserve bank can issue directions on loan and advance under section 21 right now we have just done this absolutely right a is right a is right a is right a is right oh my god in every option <laughs> a is there right second regulation of credit to different sector of economic is known as ssc bank are free to lend any amount to their directions bank have to file return to reserve bank regarding unclaimed deposit under section 26 of the banking regulation act which of the following is the right Which of the following statement is the true regarding this one? Yes, class, which of the following is the right answer? A is right. Regulation of credit to the different sector is this. Okay. Right. Unclaimed deposit, D is tell me, tell me, class, what is the right answer? See, this unclaimed deposit is also right. <coughs> D. D is right. D is right. So D option is written in this one. D option is written in this one right so the bank have to file a return to the reserve bank regarding the unclaimed deposit under section 26 d is right b is also right so that's why the right answer is four four is the right answer for this question okay four is the right answer for this question that's it then plus four is the right answer for this question Next, the minimum amount out of the net profit which is transferable to the reserve fund each year after adjustment toward bonus to the staff by bank in corporate in India is what? 25%, 20%, 10% and there is a no specific, no specification. Tell me class, 10th one. <laughs> the minimum amount out of the net profit which is transferable to the reserve bank reserve fund each year after adjustment toward bonus to the staff so the right answer will be 25 percent a is the right answer next which of the following is class false false okay 
only scheduled bank have a duty to maintain cash reserve under section 42 of the reserve bank of india every banking have company has to maintain the liquid asset under section 24 this is totally section based question the share capital and reserve of banking company form part of its demand and time liabilities under section 42 the cash reserve required under section 42 of act will be minimum of their 3% of the time and liabilities so tell me which of the following is the false one every banking company have to this a is class i think i'm just giving you the one hint a is absolutely right now just tell me the answer there are four options a is absolutely right a is right a is right so this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer answer should be from second and this one a is right every banking company has to maintain the liquid asset this is also right this is exact you know section 42 that is crr and 24 that is a liquid asset this is wrong this is wrong c and d is wrong class so that's why third is the right answer module a the important questions so from uh, december to march we will be we will just do the important questions of module a b c and d after that from march we are going to start uh, with the definition terms then at april we will do the this one summary session okay of the particular act and after that we will do the questions okay so this is the particular plan that i have made for the yt session so regard this yt session there is also you know the batch which is going to be start from that is 10th of january so this is your resolution cib may 2024 batch okay if you want to join this batch you only have to apply the coupon code that is 5391 for the maximum discount up to 80 85 percent so quickly record you know quickly purchase this batch because in this batch you will get the live classes you will get the recorded session live classes recorded session and after that you will just you know it will be opportunity for you people to just ask the doubts in the session also okay so so many things are there in the resolution batch so do not forget to enroll in this batch by applying the coupon code that is Y391C. Sorry, Y391. This is your particular coupon code. Now, let's start with the question and answer session of the module A. Okay, regulation and compliance. So, number one question on the screen. The power vested in the reserve bank under section 21 clause 1 of banking regulation act 1949 the reserve bank may give direction to the banking companies either generally or to any banking company or the group of banking companies in particular as to which of the following the purpose for which advance may or may not be made the margin to be maintained in respect of the secured advance the guarantee may be given by a banking company on behalf of one company firm association of person or individual so tell me which of the following is the right answer a b c and d tell me yes class Which of the following is the right answer for this question? Anji.
the power vested in reserve bank under section 21 clause 1 of banking regulation the reserve bank may give direction to the banking companies either generally or to any banking company or the group of banking companies in particular as to which of the following the purpose for which advance may or may not be made the margin to be maintained in respect of the secured advances guarantee may be given by banking company on the behalf of one company firm association of person or individual so which of the following is the right answer only first and second second and third first and third first second and third which of the following is the right answer c class this is totally the section based question right section 21 way so in this one all the points are one two three that is right first second and third so the right answer for this question is d will be the right answer for this question that is d is that okay now the reserve bank of india in exercise of the power vested under subsection 1 of section 35a of the banking regulation act directed dash from 2000 hour on march 2020 shall not grant or renew any loan advance make any investment incur any liability or agree to disperse any payment so what is the reason behind it which bank is there just remember 2020 And in the second one, what is the right answer? Yes, Bank Limited, RBL Bank, Canada Bank, or SGFC Bank. The Reserve Bank of India, in the exercise of the power vested under this. Section 35A of the Banking Provision Act directed dash from 2000 hour on March shall not grant. Which bank is there? Whether it is Yes Bank Limited, RBL Bank, Canara Bank, or HDFC Bank. For the second one, the right answer is that is Yes Bank Limited. Second A is the right answer for this question. Okay. A will be the right answer. Next. The RBI may caution or prohibit banking company or any banking company in particular against entering into any particular transaction or class of transaction and generally give advice to any banking company which section under the provision of banking regulation provides such power. 32 35, 36, 37. Which section talks about this one? Third one. Again, I will say RBI may caution or prohibit banking companies or any banking company in the particular against entering into any particular transaction class of transaction and generally give advice to the any banking company which section provide this one 32 35 36 and 37 third one which of the following is the right answer With section under the provision of banking regulation provide such power. <clears throat> That's provide section 36. C is the right answer for this question. C1. Okay. Next. 
Section 36.1 Clause B provides that RBI may on the request by the companies concerned and subject to the provision of Section Dash assist as intermediary or otherwise in proposal for the amalgamation of such banking company. Which section provide this one? 44A, 15, 17 or 21B. What is the right answer for fourth one? The section provide that RBI may on a request by companies concern and subject to the provision of section dash assist as intermediary or otherwise in proposal for amalgamation. Amalgamation means to merge. So which of the following is the right answer for this one? Fourth one. The right answer is section 44A. You have to remember this question. Done. Next. Section DAS authorizes the RBA to give direction is wide enough to cover the acceptance of deposit. 34, 35A, 32 or 36. Which of the following is the right answer? Section dash authorizes the RBI to give direction is wide enough to cover acceptance of deposit. That is good question. Fifth one. RBI to give direction. So the power of RBI, if I say you, the one single word, power of RBI, right? The power of RBI. So section dash authorizes the RBI to give direction. That is section 35A. B will be the right answer for this question. B. Is that okay? Next. Every banking company shall within 30 days. Every banking company shall within 30 days after the close of each calendar year submit a return in the prescribed form manner to the reserve bank at the end of such calendar year of all accounts which has not been operated for <coughs> dash eight, six which is five seven ten or fifteen years. Section 26 talks about unclaimed deposit. It is also known as debt account. Tell me, what is the right answer for sixth one? Five, seven, ten, and fifteen years. What is the right answer for this question? I have already given you the hint. Section twenty-six. Let's talk about the unclaimed debt account. Okay. Unclaimed deposit. This is also known as the debt account. The right answer is ten. C is the right answer. Okay, next. Section dash of the Banking Revision Act provide for nomination for payment of depositor money. 44A, 45ZA, ZC or 45 one. What is the right answer? Section dash of the banking provides nomination. So nomination, that is a part of the slavers also. So for the seventh one, right answer is 45 ZA. 
Okay, this is the right answer. Next, rule dash of banking companies rule 1985 deal with the form and procedure applicable to the article in the safe custody and the safety locker. We know that bank also act as a bailey when we just keep deposit or the articles in the bank, right? In the case of banking company and cooperative bank, whether it is rule 5, 6, 3, 4, 4, 5, 1, 2. What is the right answer for the A? Yes, it does. What is the right answer for the eighth one? The right answer will be B. This is the right answer. Okay, next. Where any loan and advance referred in subsection 2 of section 20 payable by any person has not been repaid to the banking company within the period specified in that subsection that such person shall, if he is a director of such banking company on the date of expiry of said period, shall be deemed to have penalized, produced in the court of law, suspended or vacated his office. Ninth, what is the right answer for this question? Ninth one. Yes, class, what is the right answer? Where any loan advance referred in subsection 2 of section 20 payable by any person has not been repaid to the banking company within the period specified in that subsection, then such person shall, if he is a director of banking company on the date of expiry of said period, deemed to be vacated his office. So, for the ninth one, D is the right answer. D, that is the right answer. Next, under section 20A of the Banking Regulation Act, any remission, remission means to less, made in contravention of the provision shall be void, void ab initio. What is void ab initio? That is void from the beginning. Voidable. One party have right to this. Unlawful, that is not lawful. So, what is the exact answer for 10? Banking regulation, any remission made in contravention. In remission means to less and contravention, that is opposite. So, the provision, any provision will be basically void. So, the 10th one, this is the right answer. Hey everyone, welcome to the Officer Adda channel of Adda 24-7. Warm welcome to all of you. So, we know that we are doing the questions of Module A. So, before starting this session, I would like to highlight you a new batch which is going to be start from 10th of January. That is your resolution CIB. It's a June 2024. Resolution CIB. It's a June 2024. In this batch, guys, we are just starting a compulsory subject classes because in this batch, you will get the live classes. After live classes, you will get the recorded session, then mock paper, ebooks, etc. And the doubt session also. And each faculty will also give you the summary sheet of each act. So if you want to enroll in this batch, you simply have to apply the coupon code that is so simple Y391. What is the coupon code? It's the Y391. This is your coupon code in which you will get the discount up to 81%. So, this is very important from the examination point of view. Okay. Now, let's start with the session. So, module A. First question on the screen is that RBI can make application to high court for winding up the banking company if government direct RBI to do so. Company failed to maintain minimum paid up capital and reserve 
as per section 11 of ba uh, banking erosion act rba has prohibited the bank to accept fresh deposit under section 34 clause 4 of banking regulation bank has failed to remain entitled to carry on the banking activities so which of the following is the right answer guys tell me yes class what is the right answer for this question What is the right answer? RBA can make application to the High Court for winding up a banking company if government directs RBA to do so, company fail to maintain minimum paid up capital reserve. What will be the right answer? See, in this question, uh, one question is important that to whom, one question is also important to whom we can file application to whom we can file application for winding up for winding up so the answer will be that is answer will be high court answer will be high court okay so from this question one question is already here so tell me the right answer for this one This is very simple question, very important question. So from this question, I have just make a Yes, class, tell me what will be the right answer for this question. So, for this question, class, all points are correct regarding this one. The government direct RBI to do so. The company failed to maintain minimum paid up capital reserve as per this. RBA was prohibited to the banks for accept the fresh deposit and bank has failed to remain entitled to carry the banking activities. So, for the first one, D will be the right answer here. Okay, D will be the right answer. Okay, a banking company which is temporarily unable to meet its obligation may apply to DASH under section 37 of Banking Lotion Act for staying the commencement and the continuance of the proceeding against it so whether it is rbi whether it is a high court supreme court or central government yes class what is the right answer Anji class, what will be the right answer for this question? For this question, a banking company which is temporarily unable to meet its obligation, obligation means the right and duties, may apply to DASH under the for staying the commencement and continuance of proceeding. To whom it will be applied? To whom it will be applied. So, guys, for this thing, we can apply to the high court for this one. Okay, for staying, staying means to stop the commencement and continuance. So, high court is the right answer for this question. Okay, high court will be the right answer. Next, section 38A of the Banking Regulation Act provide a liquidator. Liquidator is a person. What is the work of liquidator? First of all, liquidator always 
appointed by court. Its main work is to distribute distribute the assets of the company to other person. This is the right answer. So, what will be the right answer for this one? Liquidated appointed by what? And this question is of your Banking Regulation Act. Just apply the common sense. Banking Regulation Act. So, for this question, the right answer will be that is appointed by the central government. C is the right answer for this question. Okay, class, C will be the right answer. Next, the Reserve Bank applied to the court, the Reserve Bank applies to the court under section 39 of the Act that dash as notified by the central government in this behalf or stated in the application may be appointed as the official liquidator. It is Reserve Bank, State Bank, any individual or any of the above. Tell me class. The Reserve Bank applied to the court under section dash 39. <laughs> What will be the right answer for this question? Fourth one. Reserve Bank apply to the court under section 39 of the Act that as notified by central government in this behalf or stated in the application may be appointed as the official liquidator. It is Reserve Bank, State Bank, any individual, this is the right answer. D will be the right answer for this question class. D. Okay, this is the right question. Next. The remuneration of official liquidator appointed under this section, the cost and expenses of this establishment and the cost and expenses of the winding up shall be met out by High Court, winding up, Central Government or RBA. What is the right answer? Yes, class, what will be the right answer for this question? For the fifth one, the right answer will be winding. No, 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 no. That is the remuneration of the official liquidity appointment with this section. Cost of the money shall be met out by. Okay, that is met out by only, only on the winding of the company. 
okay so fifth one b is the right answer when the company will be go to the in the winding up process now then only the cost and whatever the expenses is there that will be find out next after preferential payment after preferential payment as a foresight have been made or adequate provision have been made or adequate provision has been made in respect there there shall be the paid within a foresight period of 3 month in the first place to the every depositor in the saving bank account of the banking company a sum of dash rupees or the balance right at his credit whichever is less so what will be the exact rupees here Anji class, what will be the right answer here? After the preferential payment, C class, there are two payments, preferential and equity payment. Always we will give preference to the preferential payment after that equity payment. So after the preferential payment as a foresight have been made or adequate provision has been made in respect to this, there shall be paid within a foresight period of three months in the first place to every depositor in the saving bank account of this a sum of dash rupees or the balance to his credit whichever is less so the right answer for this question is 250 rupees that is the exact answer to any one person who is in his own name is a depositor in the saving bank account shall not exceed the amount of what i think that thing seventh one right now we have just discussed right now we have just discussed same question with a different pattern to 250 rupees same question is there but a different pattern okay so this is the right answer for this question then next the security is given to every secure creditor what is secure creditor secure creditor is basically you can say first one to whom we give security to whom we give security okay so the security given to every secured creditor may be dashed by the official liquidator what will be the right answer eighth Hanji class what will be the right answer here the security given to every secured creditor may be dashed by the official liquidator used to settle the creditor, redeem, produced to the high court and the sold. What will be the right answer here? The security given to every secured creditor may be dash by the official liquidator the correct answer is redeemed okay that is to less so this is the right answer now the payment of each different class specified in subsection 7 shall the rank equally among themselves paid in full unless the assets are insufficient to meet them in which case they shall abstain in equal proportion ordinal preferential equal or according to the claim what is the right answer? Tell me class, what is the right answer? Ninth one.
Yes, class, what is the right answer? Ninth one, what will be the right answer here? So, for the ninth one, the right answer is D, according to the claim. Okay, according to the claim, that will be the right answer for this question, ninth one. Okay, next. Apart from the provision of compulsory winding up, section dash provide voluntary winding up. So, guys, there are two types of winding up compulsory. That is a voluntary. Voluntary means the mutual agreement between the partner or this one, persons. So, under which section it is there? Section 43, 44, 36, 39. This is simply memory based question. So, voluntary wind up, section 44. Next, section 43A deal with preferential payment, suspension of banking company, RBA as liquidator, or voluntarily winding up. 11th one. That is important one. That is one of the important one. So, for this one class, the right answer will be RB as a liquidator. This is the right answer. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. A uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the Officer Ada channel of Ada 24 7. A very good afternoon to all of you. So, in March, we will do the definition term and in April, we will do the summary of the act. My marathon, mini marathon, okay. So, this will be our plan for the, in the YT, for the YT session, okay. The number one is December to February, it's a module wise question, right. Then March, I will bring the definition term then april okay april i will bring the summary of the act and its question and for may mini marathon and marathon and the 5th june we will do the session okay so this is our uh, plan for the yt session so today we have to start the Module B, but before starting, I would like to say you that the resolution batch of CIB is going to be start from 10th of January. It is full fledged batch in which all the four compulsory subject we will teach you in a very detailed manner. Which module is important, which module is not, the teacher will tell you. In this batch, the live classes will be there, recorded session will be there. Okay, live class, recorded session, and after that, in this batch, mock paper, okay, the mock paper will be there, ebook will be there. So, these are the things that we have to include in this batch, okay. Now, so guys, module B basically important acts law and the legal aspect of banking operation. So, in this act, guys, we have to study the four act. See, four act, these are the four act, and two is concept based class, prevention of money laundering act. Negotiable Instrument Act, Foreign Exchange Management Act, Payment and Settlement Act, Law Relating to Security and Mode of Charge, Creation and Registration and Satisfaction of Charge. So, these are the things that we have to study in this batch. Okay, so I hope so. These are the important things. Mostly 15 to 20 questions come from the Module B. Okay, now let's start with the Act. Which act governed the foreign exchange management in India? FEMA, FEMA 1995, FEMA 1973, FEMA 2023. Tell me guys. This is very, very much important. This is very, very much important. Hanji class. But I, oh uh, yeah, tell me.
which act governed the foreign exchange management act in india so it's basically fema act 1993 before fema act guys the fera act was there fera 1973 was there okay so but after that the fema act came into picture okay in the fera act that is made in one of the government and 1999 the government was totally changed so that's why now the detail thing is given in the fema act 1999 so that's why a will be the right answer here okay next name the authority that's regulate the foreign exchange in india ed rbi finance minister or cb which of the following is the right answer Yes, class. Tell me. So, class, the authority that regulate the foreign exchange regulate that is the Reserve Bank of India. We know that this is your central government, Reserve Bank of India, and this is your bank, right? This is your bank. So, RBI is the regulator of all the bank, and central government is the regulator, or you can say, RBI and bank both have to work under the Reserve Bank of India. So that's why this is the right answer. Next, who? investigate the contravention of provision of fema act enforcement directorate rbi finance minister or sebi hanji class who investigate the contravention of this one Anji class, who will investigate?
सो गाइस सी द पुलिस इज देयर ऑलवेज फॉर द इन्वेस्टिगेशन राइट पुलिस इज देयर ऑलवेज फॉर द इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन नॉर्मल केसेस बट इन द केस ऑफ फेमा एक्ट ओके इन द केस ऑफ फेमा एक्ट द ईडी इज देयर हु जस्ट इन्वेस्टिगेट any contravention the contravention means suppose if any do not follow the provisions of fema act then ed will come into picture and that will investigate the matter so this is the right answer for this question next who have been authorized by rbi to deal in foreign exchange transaction authorized agency authorized people authorized company or authorized dealer tell me guys who has been authorized by rbi to deal in foreign exchange transaction and that person always appointed by reserve bank of india always and the main work of this person is to basically we know that any nation cannot develop if they do not do the agreement and contract with the other countries so if we want to develop our nation we have to do the contract with the other countries so for that thing we need a money of that country for exchange of the goods that's it हाँ जी क्लास सो फॉर दिस वन द राइट आंसर इज ऑथोराइज डीलर फोर्थ डी इज द राइट आंसर है ओके डी विल बी द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन डन नेक्स्ट ओके दिस इज योर करंट अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन दैट इज द क्वेश्चन विच कम फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन टर्म सो करंट अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन मीन्स ट्रांजेक्शन अदर देन अ कैपिटल अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन एंड विदाउट प्रिडाइज टू द जनरलिटी ऑफ द फॉर गोइंग सच ट्रांजेक्शन इंक्लूड वॉट इट मीन्स बेसिकली यू हैव टू टेल मी वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ करंट अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन पेमेंट ड्यू इन कनेक्शन विद अ फॉरन ट्रेड एंड अदर करंट बिजनेस सर्विसेज एंड द शॉर्ट टर्म बैंकिंग एंड द क्रेडिट फैसिलिटी इन द ऑर्डनरी कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस पेमेंट ड्यू एज इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन एंड नेट इनकम फ्रॉम द इन्वेस्टमेंट remittances for living expenses of the parents spouse children residing abroad and expenses in relation to the foreign travel education medical care parents of spouse children and all of the above so first of all you have to understand what is current account transaction so current account transaction is basically once the money gone never come back never come back or once the money come never go never go once the money come never go so i have given you the particular hint हाँ जी क्लास द करेंट अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन इज वॉट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल यू द हिंट ऑफ दिस वन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू द वन एग्जाम्पल वन एग्जाम्पल इज दैट सपोज इफ आई गो फॉर ट्रेवलिंग इन यू एस ए सो इफ आई गो ट्रेवलिंग इन यू एस ए सो बेसिकली आई विल स्पेंड मनी आई डोंट थिंक द मनी विल बी गिव बैक टू मी राइट ना दिस इज कॉल वॉट द मनी विल go 
the money I have spent that never come back. Suppose if I given the interest or loan to the Bangladesh, the Bangladesh give me the return and the interest, the interest, interest once come never go, that is called current account transaction. So, current account transaction is basically all the points are correct. E will be the right answer for this question. Okay, E will be the right answer for this question. Done. Next. Who is a person resident outside India as per FEMA Act? Who has taken birth out of India? Who is gone out of India for 181 days? Who is not resident of India or none of the above? Tell me class. Which of the following is the right answer for this question? Hanji class. Which of the following is the right answer for this question? Tell me. The person resident outside India, outside India who is a not resident of India, that's it. C will be the right answer. Okay. C will be the right answer. Next. The following transactions are regarded as capital account transaction. Now you tell me capital account transaction. I'm giving one example. Suppose India give Bangladesh loan. India give Bangladesh loan, right? Now class, in this case, suppose Bangladesh have to give loan. The money is returned back. Money is returned back. So this is called what? When the money is returned back, this is called capital account transaction. When the, run, when the money is go and return back, that is called capital account transaction. So guys, in this case, tell me, deposit between person resident in India and person resident outside India, any borrowing or Lending in rupees, whatever form and by, this cannot be the right answer. The right answer is C. The right answer is class C because in the capital, money will go, money will come. Okay. So, this is the right answer. Next. What is foreign currency class? What is foreign currency? All currency including, excluding India rupees. All currency excluding India's rupees and dollar, all currency excluding rupees and Pakistani rupees, none of the above. Foreign currency, that is all currency excluding India's rupees. Eight, A is the right answer. Okay, next. The Reserve Bank of India may revoke the authorization of any authorized person if it satisfies that revocation will cause peace in the country. Revocation will create employment. Revocation is in public interest. Revocation will cause inflow in the foreign currency. What is the right answer? So, class, revoke is in the public interest. This is the right answer. Okay, this is the right answer. Okay. The quantum of penalty for violation of section 13 shall be, if the sum involved is quantifiable, that is 3 into this. What is the right answer? Suppose if any act 
you have done you have not followed the guidelines of the reserve bank of india the penalty will be what if it is a quantifiable quantifiable means if it is a calculated if it is calculated so the money will be 3x and if it is not quantifiable then we have to give how much rupees we have to give basically 2 lakh rupees this will be the right answer for this question okay <coughs> Hello everyone, a uh, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Officer Adda 24-7, the special session of your BRBL subject in the <coughs> English medium language. So you can see that right now we are doing module B. From yesterday we have just started the module D. Before starting the session, I would like to say you that from tomorrow, your resolution CIB batch 2024 is going to be start in the resolution batch the four compulsory subject will be there that is your abm abfm brbl and bfm so if you want to enroll in this batch the process is very simple in this batch you will just get the live classes if you are not able to see the live classes then the recorded session will be available you will get the mock paper of each compulsory subject after that, there will be the ebooks for the quick revision. Doubt sessions will be there. So these are the things that is important from the examination point of view. Okay. So you can see the live session, mock paper, ebooks, doubt session, and the recorded session is there. So I think this batch is sufficient if you really want to practice exam. Okay, this batch is sufficient. After that, in this, you know, batch, the compulsory subject is not there. So, oh, sorry, the elective subject is not there. So, for this thing, you have to just choose the one video course of, suppose if you have just select the HR. So, you have to select the <coughs> video course of HR so that you can easily, you know, get the full price of this batch. Okay. And if you want to <coughs> enroll in the CIB ka Mahapak, so CIB ka Mahapak is also very much important now. Let's do the question. This is your module B. These are the acts that we have already discussed. Okay, today I will I would like to ask the question from the pledge. Number one question. <clears throat> In pledge contract, the bailey is called what? Pounder, pounding, pleasure, or none of the above. <coughs> do not forget to like and subscribe the channel hanji class in the pledge contract the bailey is called what see first of all we have to understand the term bailment so what is bailment bailment is basically when a person delivered the things to the b person for specific purpose okay for the specific purpose and when the purpose is complete okay the B will, A will return back the goods. Suppose if we have just given the cloth for stitching. So when the cloth will be stitched, A will take back his cloth by just giving the rupees to the B person. So this is a specific purpose that is the stitching of the cloth. That is called bailment. And in the bailment, guys, this A person is called bailer and this B person is called bailey. Got it? Bailer and bailey. So, in this question that is asked, that suppose in the pledge contract, if Bailey is there, so in the pledge, what it will be called in the place of Bailey? <coughs> because pledge is what? Pledge means A person delivered the things to the B person. Sorry, A have given the security to the B person, okay? And the B have given the money to the A person. So, pledge always, you know, happen because of the this security and A needs the money. So what is the basic thing of this one? Bailey is called what? Pounder, Pounder, Pleasure and none of you. Tell me class. 
That is very question, very, very easy question. First of all, tell me the name of A person and B person in the case of pledge. In the case of pledge, Hanji class, what will be the right answer? And now, from today onward, daily at 7.30 p.m., your YT session of the English medium will be held. Okay? Tell me the right answer. Hanji class. Anyone? Class. A person is called pawner. And that is pleasure. And B is called pawny. And that is pledge. So this is the right answer. So the bailey is called pawn. This is the right answer. First one, B will be the right answer. Okay? And do not forget to like the session if you miss. Okay. In the pledge, the bailer is called. Right now we have done. It is pounder, pawny, both A and B, none of the above. Tell me the right answer. Hanji class. What will be the right answer for this question? Bailer is called what? Yes, class, tell me. This is very important questions of module B. So, sequence wise, we will do the all question. So, guys, in the pledge, the bailer is called pounder because same thing this question is asked. Okay, this question is asked. Is that okay? Now, next one. Okay, the bailment of goods as security for payment of debt and the performance of promise is called what? Pledge, bailment, contingent contract or agreement. Tell me please. What is the right answer? Now, daily from Monday to Saturday at 7.30 a.m. your YT session in English medium will be held. YT session in English medium will be held. That's it. <clears throat> this is important. Hanji class. What is called this one? Hanji class, the bailment of good as security for the payment of debt and the performance of the promise is called what? <coughs> it is basically called, yes, come on, give me the reply. If you people are seeing the session, please give me the reply. What is the right answer? <coughs> This definition is equal to the definition of pledge because pledge is a kind of bailment. The word security signify, you know, it's differentiate between the bailment and the pledge because in the pledge, you will find the word security, but in the bailment, the simple word is specific purpose. So that is the basic difference between this one. Okay, so please remember this one. Hello, Shekhar, sir. Ma'am is live. Please give me the reply of each answer. Hello, sir. Now, pledge is a contract of what? Bailment, agency, guarantee, or mortgage. Hanji, sir. What is the right answer for this question? Do not forget to like the session and share the session as much as possible. Share the session as much as possible.
हाँ जी क्लास वॉट इज द राइट आंसर हेलो बलिराम सर यू आर सेइंग दैट प्लेज इज अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ बेल एंड एक्सेल एंड बलिराम सर गिव इट अप दिस इज द राइट आंसर गुड नेक्स्ट प्लेज इन्वॉल्व द ट्रांसफर ऑफ व्हाट इट इज अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ गुड्स मनी सर्विसेज एंड द प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर हां जी सर यस सर द प्लेज इन्वॉल्व द ट्रांसफर ऑफ डैश गुड्स money services and the property right what is the right answer <coughs> what is the right answer pledge involved the transfer of what whether we transfer the goods transfer the money transfer the services and property rights what will be the right answer for this question Yes, come on, tell me, class. What is the right answer? You are saying A. Excellent, sir. Excellent, sir. The right answer will be goods. Always remember, in the pledge, right? We just transfer. We just transfer what? The possession of the goods. Okay. We just transfer the possession of goods. Possession is basically. that is the custody of the goods okay custody of the goods we just transfer ownership is remain with the borrower okay ownership is remain with the borrower is that okay this is the right answer excellent now the next question is banker's lien is what journal lien particular lien or negative lien this is very important question हाँ जी एनी वन सी बैंकर लियन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्सैक्टली द टर्म लियन लियन इज बेसिकली टू होल्ड द थिंग्स टिल द फुल पेमेंट इज नॉट डन वॉट आई टोल यू लियन मीन्स होल्ड द थिंग्स टिल द full payment is not done that is called lien okay suppose in the case of pledge 
in the case of pledge if the borrower is not able to pay the money in that case the bank can hold the possession of goods till the full payment is not done so this is example of particular lien okay so the lien is basically divided into two part the first is specific lien the next is general lien right specific lien is the best example suppose the tailor if we just give the no the specific means Suppose if we give the clothes to the tailor, the, the tailor will hold the goods. The tailor will hold the clothes till the full payment is not done. So the specific lien always apply to the particular thing. But journal lien, the best example of journal lien is banker's lien. So the banker lien is basically journal lien. You have to remember the section that is section 171 of the Indian Contract Acts. Let's talk about the banker's lien. Okay. So in the journal lien, suppose if you have given the documents to the bank and you and you are not able to pay the full payment, so bank have a right to hold all the documents of you till the full payment is not done. So this is called journal lien. So at least remember the section that is attached, that is section 171 of the Indian contract, which talks about this. Okay, section 171, Baliram Sir, Shekhar Sir, that is the particular section which talks about the journal lien in indian contract act that is important okay this is important <coughs> next <coughs> banker has lien on what bond given for collection bond given for safe custody bond left by mistake a and b together what is the right answer Sunday class Banker has a lien on what? Tell me. Banker has a lien on what? Bonds given for collection. Bonds given for safe custody. Bonds left by mistake. A and B together. What is the right answer? Do not forget to like the session and subscribe the channel of Ada 24 7. Sanji class, what will be the right answer for this question? <clears throat> Tell me. So basically, the bond of a lien has a given for the connection. Okay, for the collection of the particular money. Done. Next. Which of the following is not true? The first one is consideration must be real, not illusory. Consideration may be inadequate. Past consideration is no consideration, and the consideration should not consist of legal obligation. What will be the right answer for this question? Tell me, class. what is the right answer this is very important question if i say you statement is not true consideration may be see what is consideration so consideration is basically that is something for something that is called consideration okay so consideration must be real must be lawful okay it must be real it must be lawful done not illusory it means it should not be the fake it should be the real so that's why for the eighth one a will be the right answer for this question okay guys a will be the right answer next the contract for benefit of minor see first of all we know that if any contract is done by minor that is totally void ab 
initio, right? But if it is for the benefit of the minor nerve, then it is totally valid right? because that is written in the Indian contract also. If the contract is for benefit for the minor, the contract will be the valid one. So that's why for the ninth one, A will be the right answer for this question. Okay, next. Minor enter into agreement representing himself to be the major. Consider the following statement. Minor commit fraud if the other party does not have personal knowledge of his age. Such agreement is not enforceable. The doctrine of estoppel does not apply in the minor case. Hundred class. So, what will be the right answer? Please see. That is very important question. This is very important question. Anji class, tell me what is the right answer. See, a minor enter into agreement representing himself with a major. The minor commits fraud if other does not have a personal knowledge of this age. The agreement is not enforceable. Okay. The agreement is not enforceable. The doctrine of estoppel does not apply to minor case. Other party is entitled to get back the benefit passed to the minor if innocent about his age. Which of the statement is the correct one? So you have to identify the correct one. Class. Tell me. That is a good question. That is a good question. Sanji, any idea? Minor commits fraud if other party does not have personal knowledge of his age. Such agreement is not enforceable. Second statement is right class. Estoppel does not apply minor case exactly. So guys, this is the right answer. Correct about this thing. Okay. So, that's all for today's class. So, do not forget to enroll in this batch, which is going to be start from 10th of January. You only have to apply the coupon code Y391 for the maximum discount. Okay. Y391 is the maximum discount for this batch. You can also take the uh, CIB ka maha pack in which every batch is involved. The recorded session of uh, elective subject. Marathon, mini marathon of the previous session. Everything is involved in the CIB Kamaha pack. So apply the coupon code Y391 for the discount up to 79%. And if you just download the app through the mobile and through mobile, if you purchase, 1% more discount will be available. So the total 80% discount will be available. Okay. That's all for today's class. Have a nice day.